and welcome back. As always, my name is Oz. Today I'm checking out a game called The Windows Are Gone. This is a game off of Itch.io for free by Scary Cube. So uh, the premise of this game is that we are seeing this house in our dreams and we feel compelled to find it and move into it after some sort of grief. I, I don't exactly know. Uh, but let's uh, jump in and see what it says. In my dreams, I see this house. Ooh, it's a nice house. It's huge. Holy cow. Very ominous music, though. I feel it calling for me. So we must go for it calls. Ever since the accident. Always a tragic accident. Whatever I do, I can't stop thinking about this house in Mariana. Mariana? Mariana. So I answered it. The windows are gone. Very spooky, ooh, very spooky premise. Hi, honey, how are you holding up? You know, taking it one day at a time. How was the funeral? I wish I could have been there for you. I didn't go, couldn't do it. I understand, she would have understood too, you know that, right? Right. And what about your new house? Is it in Mariana, right? Quite a long way from home. Yeah, I'm on my way there right now, actually. I'll text you once I get there. Alright, be careful on the road. I love you. So we lost our wife? Or our husband? Or, or probably our wife. Uh, press tab to pick up your phone. Okay. Uh, F. Hey, I just arrived at the house. I'll move the boxes inside and we'll text you later. Alright. What we got? Let's go inside first. This house is massive. Map. Oh, nice. Kitchen. Uh, so we're on the front porch. Living room downstairs bathroom kitchen there's a bedroom downstairs hallway downstairs office there's a basement uh upstairs main hallway upstairs storage upstairs master bath bedroom with a bathroom upstairs guest bedroom with a bathroom okay this house is very nice oh this is just our living room Nice. Comes with some friend. Oh, what's this? Tape one. My family. It could probably take the. Okay. Give me this. Oh. Gotcha. Okay. As the tape starts playing, I see a middle-aged man handling the camera i quickly realize that the man is in the same house that i'm in he is all smiles as he moves away from the camera and joins his family as they can be seen playing around in the backyard i wonder if they're the previous owners 
His wife and children seem to be having a great time, laughing and running around. There's a moment where the wife comes up behind the husband and puts her arms around him. They both smile and briefly look at the camera. It's nice, really. I can't help but feel like there's something off, though. It's like there's an underlying tension, a sense of unease that's hard to describe. Maybe it's just me, but I get this feeling that things aren't as perfect as they seem on the surface. It feels like the happiness portrayed here is a deceptive lure tempting me to bite it and overwhelm me with its actual intentions. It's written on the man's face. It's like he's trying to hide something behind his smile. The tape ends but with one of the kids trip and fall on the ground while the mother tends to the crying boy. The father's disingenuous smile finally fades away as he approaches the camera to turn it off. Once he's right in front of the frame, though, I get the eerie feeling of its intrusiveness, as if he caught me prying on his personal life. The tape ends. It's a strange feeling watching these recordings of someone else's life. I can't help but wonder what happened to them. Where are they now? Did they move away a long time ago? Are they still together? It's like I'm peeking into a world that's not mine, a world that's both familiar and foreign at the same time. Thanks for letting me know. Careful not to hurt your back with the boxes. Everything good. Yeah, good. Found this weird VHS tape. I think it's from the old origins of the house. Okay. Ooh. Huge. Okay. Uh, did you watch it? What's in it? I was expecting you to lecture me not to do that, but yes, I did. I saw some weird stuff. Okay. Ooh, this, all oh, this kitchen. Ooh, this backyard is quite large. This room is locked for some reason. I wonder if the key is somewhere around here. We'll see. Wait, 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 wait. I was expecting you e oh all right what we got upstairs guest bedroom upstairs bathroom master bedroom living room uh let's let's grab this to the living room We're in the master bedroom. Inspect. I'm not sure I'll get used to this bed, but it'll have to do for now. Okay. Everything just came... It just came with the furniture, eh? I like how quiet it is in here. I don't know if I've said that yet, but I don't like it. Why are we completely compounded in? Where, where'd the music come from all of a sudden? Alright. Man, this is taking forever. Oh, I can run! I can run! Oh my god. Upstairs, master bathroom. Alright. Ooh. Can I run with the box? I can't. I can't run when I'm having the box because I am encumbered to the master bathroom. I like how the master bathroom isn't even the nicest one. All right. Huh? Hello, lady. Hello? Hello there! You must be our new neighbor! Uh... Yes, I am. Lovely! Shockwoodly pauses for a second. 
Welcome, welcome. Mariana is a wonderful town, lovely people. Uh, can you tell me about it? Well, Mariana is a quiet little town, but it's full of beauty. Oh, yes. Make sure you visit the Aracarius Park when you have a chance. Beautiful trees there. What's an Aracarius Park? Also, people here are known for their friendliness. That being said, I hope you understand that we take pride in our traditions. Please don't embarrass us with your differences. She smiles. Okay, you look familiar. Do I know you? Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe. It's what they say, small world and all. In any case, we know each other now, don't we? Uh, can I help you with anything, ma'am? Well, I couldn't help but notice that the house has been purchased and that the new owner would be here today, so I baked you something special as a welcoming gift. Oh, thank you. I think you're going to love it. I left it on your kitchen counter. You got inside the house? Oh, don't worry, my dear. I know this house inside and out. You know this house. This house has a lot of history. It's a very unique one in a way. I think you know, too. Every corner and every shadow seems familiar, you know, doesn't it? In any case, you'll get familiar with it soon enough. Uh, all right, then. Now do me a favor, my dear, and try some of the pastries I made for you, will you? I'm sure you'll love it. Okay, just please stay here this time, all right? She nods and smiles. Leave conversation. Am I... Just... Where are they? Oh, she left them right here. A plate of gorostoli made by the neighbor. I'm not sure if I should eat this, but it smells irresistible. Sure. I ate one. All right. You still here? Oh, she left. This note just says, welcome home. I assume it came from the lady, but where did she go? As I unloaded the boxes into my new house, I couldn't help but be reminded of the toll the trip to Mariana had taken to me. That combined with this odd encounter with the neighbor made me realize I was exhausted. I decided it'd be wise to take a quick nap in the master bedroom. Besides, I was curious to test the comfort of the new bed. I'm not sure I'll get used to it. Uh, lay down? I guess I'm taking a nap now. No pillows, no blankets, just nap nap. Nap, sleep, sleep. Is it... Am I... Okay, I am falling asleep. Good, good, good. This time, I didn't dream about this house. Probably because I was finally here. Okay, what's going on here? I wish I could speed this along. Oh, nope, I can't. No, this time I had a different dream. Look at wife. Oh, my wife and I were in a hurry to the hospital. She was clearly in a lot of pain. Oh, I'm, I'm driving. Okay, talk to the wife. I find myself in my car quickly driving my wife to the hospital since her water just broke. Honey, are you going to be okay? Yes, just avoid the bumpy roads, please. She gives off a nervous laugh. Have you called your mother? No, no, I forgot. Can you call her once we get there, please? Yes, of course. Thank you, and please remember the highway is blocked. Now please hurry. I will hold on tight. Oh! Oh my god, what's going on? Jessica? Whoa. Whoa ho ho, what is happening here? This is frightful. Jessica, wake up!
what's going on. Hello? Oh, I woke up. What a horrible nightmare. That dripping noise. I heard it while I was asleep. Where's it coming from? Ah, uh, I haven't gone down here yet. Oh, great. There's a leak in the ceiling. I guess that's what I get for buying an old house. I get a weird feeling about this, though. I can't quite explain it. Maybe it's the constant noise. Maybe it's the water itself. I don't know. I just can't shake the odd feeling I have when I think about it. But, I, but I'll but i see to it tomorrow. I'm bothered right now. I need to go back to bed. I guess I'm just going to go back to sleep now. Okay, uh, back to sleep I go. Sleep in sequence. Initiated. Up again, up again. Okay. Uh, e. Good morning, son. Your mom told me you arrived in Mariana yesterday. How's it going? Oh, this is from Dad. Uh, hey, Dad. Well, you know. Okay. I know, I'm sorry. And how's the new house? Is it all you were hoping for? It's okay. I was bringing the boxes in yesterday and got tired. I'll get back to doing that right now. All right. Hold up. There's a VHS tape down here. Oh, it got bigger. It seems to have gotten a bit worse overnight. I'll definitely have to call someone to see this later. Man, it, constant noise will make me go insane. Okay, can I inspect? Where's the reticle? Ah, it. All right. All right. The tape shows the man, who I assume was the previous owner of this house, working in the basement with the camera sitting on a counter and pointing at him. He seems to be alone in the house, although I can just about hear his children playing in the backyard. The tape is slightly damaged, but I can make out most of what's happening. For a few seconds, he just stays there in silence as if anxiously rehearsing his first words to the camera. When he finally starts speaking, I'm suddenly caught by the sense of uneasiness and I shiver slightly. This man also seems uneasy and disturbed. His words, measured and hesitant, give off a sense that he's trying to describe a feeling that he cannot fully comprehend, but that has taken over him. He speaks of a sense of impending disaster, of a terrible event that he thinks is about to occur in his family. He is less and less coherent until he's taken by his own emotion and accidentally drops the tool he was using on the ground. He starts crying, carefully covering his mouth so that no one notices him. He mentions the terrible event will be his fault. Watching him, I can't help but feel that his words are directed at me somehow. It's as if he knows that I'm here watching this and is trying to communicate with me. The way he talks about the events is as if they had already happened, but then why is he doing this? Why isn't he doing anything to prevent it from happening? And what's the point of these tapes? Okay. All right, let's get the rest of these boxes in. That was a uh, Sag, big Sag. All right. This one goes to the upstairs storage. Last box. Where's this one go? The kitchen. All right. You got tired after hauling six boxes? You needed a giant moving truck for six boxes? Oh, good golly gracious. What? Where did that tape come from? As I was bringing in the boxes, I couldn't help but repeatedly ask myself what I was actually doing here. I acted on impulse when I bought this house, but 
The vivid reoccurrent dreams I had after the accident played, plagued my mind and kept haunting me until I finally gave in. It's like I didn't have a choice. Maybe it's the desperation to start fresh or need to escape the memories of that dreadful night. But here I was in this unfamiliar place with no one but myself. For a moment, I questioned my sanity. So I took a deep breath, letting the musty smell of the old house fill my lungs. And with a sense of determination, I whispered to myself, I'm here now and I have to make the most of it. Still, I felt like I needed to turn this into my new home. So I set out to unpack all the boxes and decorate the place. I will do so, but first. You can now open the boxes, decorate the house to your liking. I'm going to eat. The woman is very odd, but her thingies were delicious. I can unpack. Cool. Um, hold on. Tape number three, rumble. I have a videotape. I don't like that I left the door open. Uh, as the tape starts playing, the scene from before me is disorienting and extremely unsettling. The man from the previous tape stands in place impossible to identify. He appears to hover in darkness, surrounded by countless long red streaks that stretch as far as the eye can see like veins that mysteriously emerge from above and just as inexplicably inex Inexplicably disappear beneath him. Oddly enough, I can feel them pulsating beyond the TV screen and onto my chest, suffocating me with the same feeling that man appears to be experiencing. In that crushing darkness, I inexplicably feel the man's despair, guilt, and regret, yet I cannot bring myself to stop the tape and I keep watching. The camera shakes and glitches, and time seems to be a part of the man's body somehow. This demeanor terrifies me. His words are fragmented, barely forming coherent sentences. In the brief moments that I see his face, there's a deep ache in his eyes, as if he carries an overwhelming burden upon his shoulders. He stammers feelings of regret and calls for his family, but he's all alone in that place. I feel like his family is no longer reachable, and he blames himself for it. It's a haunting sight, and I can feel his pain seeping through the screen, echoing with my own being as if we somehow shared a consciousness. In the midst of his own turmoil, his mouth opens wide, ready to unleash his agonies, but before he can do so, the tape abruptly ends. I feel broken by the intensity of what I've just witnessed, and I almost feel ashamed to look at my own reflection on the screen, and yet I still feel like this was needed somehow. Okay... Let's close this door. Hold on. I think mom texted me. Uh, it's okay. Was bringing... Oh, hold on. Cute. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hey, man. How are you doing? Brother-in-law. Hey. A bit overwhelmed, honestly. Okay. I can unpack now. Open. Ooh, what is this? I have to unpack everything by itself. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, same here. She was an incredible person. My sister loved you, man. I know. And she hated your guts. Haha. -ha. All right. What we got? Haha. -ha. Oh, yeah, I know. But seriously, it wasn't your fault, man. Remember that, right? Okay. Poor dude. Lost his wife and baby. All right, let's see. Q, 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 Q. Whoa. What was that? Listen to static? The TV turned itself on and I can just about make out a sound over the static. Is that someone crying?
Oh. I'm not ready for that, thank you. I'm not ready to go in that room. I will un unpacking. Hold on. Uh, E. Take care. Insurance prick. This is Franco from your auto insurance. I must inform you that your car has been declared a total loss. Hello, all right, what now? Medicine goes in. What was that noise? I think it came from the basement. Um, ooh, blender. Whoa! What happened to my back door? The front door is now gone as well. Nope, I'm gonna go continue to uh, unpack. Rotate. Looks it. Oh, I can't interact anymore. I guess I had to go down here. Oh, what is this? Oh God, what is happening here? This is terrible. This leak is quickly deteriorating the ceiling. I feel like I have to do something or it will collapse soon, but I can barely look at this thing. It's making me lightheaded and nauseous. It's frustrating though. I know I need to take care of it, but I feel so repulsed that all I can do is ignore it. God, I hate looking at it. I can't unpack anymore. I guess I gotta go in here. Why can't I interact with anything? So I can't interact with anything besides doors anymore. Ah, really? I'm an hour into this game and it soft locks me? Well, that sucks. I was really enjoying this game, too. Uh, so, uh, that was... This is... What is this? This is The Windows Are Gone by Scary Cube. The windows are indeed gone, but now I cannot interact with anything. I've read on the Itch.io page that this has happened to a couple of other people and that they had to start over again. But I'm an hour into this game and I don't feel like starting over. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content just like this. This game had a lot of potential, but like I said, I... I'm not starting over. I'm sorry. So again, thanks so much. I'll see you all next time. Bye!